Houdini 20.5 is out and with it has come a new recipe system. The recipe system is super cool, it's super powerful, and I think it's gonna save you a ton of time. So Houdini 20.5 has introduced this recipe system and it's basically going to replace the old preset system that we had. And I think this is kind of building off of the component builder lop that we've had in the past. I think that was kind of the basis of what kind of inspired this system uh, because it's kind of got some of the same functionality. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. By, let's start off by just coming up to this Windows and come to this Recipe Manager. And in here, you see that we have a couple of recipes. Now, you're not going to have any in here unless you check this read only. And these are all created just by side effects themselves. They come default for, with Houdini 20.5. But these two are stuff that I have created myself. So uh, we'll take a look at what they are and how to how to create them but let's go ahead and just like select this one right here and then we get some options we can rename it we can edit it we can edit the pattern we'll talk about that pattern here in a second and then it's also got a type in here and we'll also talk about that here in a moment but if you want to edit these or inspect them you can so if you inspect it it's going to give you all the code that's used to create this you know set this tool set basically so what is a tool let's go ahead and close that out for now. If I right click in this stage context here, I have this new recipes tab, which has my lop basic scene in there. You see that I only have one of these in here. One of them was a tool and one of them was a decoration. So we'll talk about what those are in just a moment, but any tools are going to show up in this recipe section. So if I go ahead and click this and I place it down, you're gonna see that this creates a basic scene for me, which is kind of what I wanted to do, first of all, with, with this recipe system, is just be able to drop down one node and create an entire setup for, for Solaris for me, just to save me the extra time of having to place everything down. And you can see that if I go ahead and select this Karma Render Settings, it's already set to XPU, if I jump in here, it's already got a Karma material inside of here, and you can basically save whatever settings that you want, which is super, super cool. I have the in-play monitor set on here, so things that you're probably gonna do, you know, first thing when you're setting up a scene inside of Solaris, I already have set up, and all I have to do is just drop down that one node, and everything is created, which is super, super cool. So let's go ahead and create one of these tools. So all you have to do is create all of the nodes with every setting that you want already set up. So we can, once you have that already done, you can just click and drag and select them all. And then we can right click on one of them, come down to recipes, and we have a couple of options. We can save it as a preset, which is basically gonna do the same thing as we had before. So if I had a node selected before, I wanted to, you know, set it to a preset that I have saved, you go to what's now this legacy preset. So this is all using the recipe system now, which is this icon next to this. So you see I have a decoration set up on this SOP create, which we'll talk about that here in just a moment. But let's go ahead and select all these and let's right click again and come down to recipes and save selected item as a tool. And once we have that, we can give this a title and we have some different settings in here. We can hide advanced options or, or show those. Let's go ahead and just set that to use, uh, to save to user preferences, which is automatically gonna save it to the same spot as the ones that I've already created. And we just need to give this a title. So let's just call this, uh, let, I don't know, test scene. And that's really all you have to do. You can change the submenu of where this pops up in. So there's all sorts of different submenus that you can save this to. Let's leave this in recipes. You can also change the icon. So if I click on this little icon symbol, you can set this to a, a icon that you set up or create yourself if you would like, or you can select from one of the icons that comes with Houdini. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this for now because it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna delete this in a minute anyway since I've already got this set up. But let's go ahead and click save and it's gonna take just a second and once it saves it, we can come and right click in here now. And now we have our test scene set up here. And if I go ahead and drop this down, we get the same thing that we had before which is super, super cool. 
Now, if I wanted to save this as a decoration, let's talk about what a decoration is. And for that, I'm going to drop down a SOP create and are gonna come up to this little, I don't know, what is this icon? It's like a frying pan, That's what it looks like. I don't know what it's supposed to be. But if we select that, we can come down to this basic scene and it's going to create the same nodes that I have with the same settings. You see, I've already got XPU set up. I've got the M play monitor set up, you know, our material in there. So we already have things set up inside of here and it creates that just by that one little click of a button, which is super cool. And that gives you some, some extra functionality here. So the problem with this SOP create, now it's not necessarily gonna be an issue in this specific case, but if you're doing it with other nodes, then it might be an, an issue. So if I come in here and I drop down this recipe, I'm going to get this same thing no matter what. But let's say I've already got, I don't know, like a mountain drop down on a sphere. I can drop this down and maybe change this to a polygon, crank this up, you know, change the amplitude, whatever we want in here. Let's say I wanted to, I already had this created and I want to create these nodes just while saving what I have inside of this node. So if I come up here now and press this basic scene decoration, it's going to create all those nodes, but it's going to keep everything that I've already got set up on this SOP create which is super, super nice. So now we could come down to our render settings, set that, and we can start rendering this if we would like. So how do we create those? Basically the same way that we did with the tool. So we're gonna select all of these, we're gonna right click, and we're gonna come down to recipes, save item as decoration. Now, when you do this, it's important to know which node you are selecting. So if I were to select this material library, come down to save as decoration, you're gonna see that this node is highlighted and that's gonna be our anchor node is what it's called. Um, so we can say this, this central node we see right there, that's gonna be what everything is based around. So if I were to save this as a recipe right now, it's going to save this only for material library lop nodes, which we may or may not want. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set it back to the SOP create. So we'll right click and set this as central node now you're going to see it's going to update our settings here. And I'm going to call this uh, test, you know, basic scene or whatever, whatever you want. And we'll set this to user preferences again. And I can go ahead and click save now. And we're going to have the same, same situation that we had before. Let's jump back up here. We can come to this icon now and test basic scene. And now we have all of those nodes created for us. Now, if you want to edit these, we can come up to our window and we can come to our recipe manager again. And this pattern is basically what controls where this decoration is going to, is going to show up. So if I go ahead and select this and I select edit pattern, we have this lop stop create. We could, I haven't actually done it through this menu, so let's explore this together. Let's do material material library library if i can spell library and hopefully once we have that set up we can come to our material library have one of those down and we should have that yep test basic scene right there and it's going to create all of the nodes around it well after it i guess um so i guess that's interesting doesn't create the nodes before. I did not know that. Um, okay, so let's let's test that then. I'll do a little live testing of some things. So let's go ahead and delete those then, and let's come to select these, and we'll do our dome light, and we'll do recipes, save as decoration, and we'll just do, we'll call this test scene whatever, it doesn't really matter. User preferences again. And I'm wondering since this is the central node, what is going to happen? So let's click save. Let's drop down our dome light and then we can come up here and select test scene. And I guess since that is the central node, it's going to, to create everything. 
So if you don't have the central node created, I guess it's probably not going to create the central node unless, well, let's test it, I guess. So this was on the dome light. Let's edit that pattern. Let's do a lop. Let's just do that sop create. Sop create, yep. I'll take a second. So let's drop down another sop create and let's see if it creates all of the other nodes with that test scene. Um, so it looks like it doesn't, but it interestingly enough, it creates the nodes around it with that as the central node. So that's kind of interesting. So I guess that's a, a little caveat is you're going to have things kind of show up in weird spots if you're not, you know, if they're not using the central node. So maybe that'll change in the future. I'm not really sure. Uh, that's a little, little interesting. Uh, but that's kind of the basics of how you can set up these recipes and use these recipes you can go ahead and probably and kind of code these all yourself if you wanted to because this is all like uh sort of in that json type type uh, of coding i believe so um you can probably you know code this all out yourself and and create everything everything like we see uh sop create so everything has a name if you knew all the names of everything um i'm sure there's documentation on it somewhere um, or if not, there's going to be, uh, and you can go through and, and select the settings that you want and, and create everything that you want. Uh, but that is a quick rundown of the recipe system. I'm going to be covering a lot more of what's new in Houdini 20. If you're interested in all that, we're going to be looking more into a bunch of the, the new features and everything. So we will take a look at that in the coming videos. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.